So today we are opening something brand new, the EV Hero V Spring Collection Tins. They are all new designs on these. There's a Sylveon, Espion, and Umbreon, and I've got no idea what packs come inside them. So we're gonna find out. Let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Kelly and welcome to the channel. So today we are cracking into the brand new EV Hero Tins, the Sylveon, Espion, and Umbreon designs. And we're actually gonna kick off with the Sylveon. Right, let's get in. Well, I, I'm gonna try and get into Man, that is a hell of a seal on this thing. That's Jesus Christ. What? Well, that was dramatic. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, cool tin design on these, by the way. The nice artwork. We, you know, we like the flurry on the Jolton and Vaporeon one, and they've just redone it with this. So, do we think we're going to see some more tins of these as well? What do we reckon? Question is, and it actually genuinely is a promo inside these, which I'm very excited for. That's that's cool because um, quite often now on tins you don't tend to get a promo, or if you do, it's like a Cosmo Hollow or something. We got the code card in there on that one. That's a solid product. Two brilliant stars, a fusion strike, and a vivid voltage. I think that's one of the best tins they've launched in a while, actually. I have to say, oh my god. Okay, right. Let's get into the card. Let's get into the packs anyway. We'll kick off with vivid. All right, first one out. Let's see how we get on. And I uh, hope hoping there's a good pulse. Man, we still need two Charizards from Brilliant Stars EV, the Rainbow and the Alt Art. I wonder if these tins are going to bring us some luck. We shall find out. So, right, Blissel, Slugma, Beldum, Milsery, oh, Duskull, and... Oh, full art! Galarian of Farfetch V! That is a strong... Right, and I don't know why I do that. I, I refer to that in my streams a lot, don't I? I go all Star Wars and Pet Senator Palpatine, don't I? That is a lovely hit. It's very off-center, but I don't think I have this one, and I've got a bit of a full full art collection going in my binder, so that's where it's going to go. Okay, Fusion Strike next, and uh, let's see if we can keep this going. I reckon you normally get one hit per tin, so it's going to be interesting to see if we get any more out of it. If that was it, it's just the one full art, or are we going to get hollow? Maybe, I reckon we'll see a trainer gallery in Brilliant Stars out of this tin to start with. Right, Chansey, and nothing in Fusion Strike. Okay, Brilliant Stars time. Like I say, I think a trainer gallery is in the offering. I, I've got this feeling that that's what we're going to see. Right, one, two, three, four. Can I will it into existence? Right, that fire energy, strong start. Right, Spiritomb, Burmy, Impidimp, Staryu, Relio, ah, no trainer gallery there, but Empoleon, two hits from this tin. That's solid. Right, last pack magic from the Sylveon tin. And uh, and then we'll get into the Espion and Umbreon and see. So far, very happy with how this has gone. Actually, you know, I'd like to see one more hit, but if I get one more big hit out of these tins, that's a win in my book from it. You know, my last tin opening I did did not go well. But look, look here you go, trainer gallery card. Oh, yes! <laughs> I called it! We got the Zekrom! Get in! Oh my god! And a Garchomp! Holy moly! What a tin! Guys, check that out! Four hits from that one tin. What? Alright, next up we're going to do the Espeon tin. And it's got a lot to contend with to beat the Silver. And that Silver is definitely winning. But just before I get into opening this, I uh, just want to let you know if you want to pick these tins up yourself, then make sure to head to my site, evocards.co.uk. That's right, the brand new store name has officially launched. And if you go to the old site, the Matt Cully one, it will just forward you through to the new one. We've just done a bit of a rebrand to show that we do more than just Pokemon as well. And we're really trying to grow the company and the business. So yeah, if you want to pick these up, make sure to head there. And I think as of watching this, if you use code EVOLAUNCH, uh, you can get 10% off across site-wide and there's heavy discounts on our sealed product anyway that you can use that discount code on top of. So make sure to go and check out. Pick up some bits where you can. The offers end on Sunday evening, so check it out. All right, so we are in and there's the Espeon promo card, which is really... Pokemon have stepped it up lately with V designs. I don't know about you, they've been looking a lot nicer, a bit more like sketch rather than too CGI heavy. Um... I really like that. But I do have a question, actually, whereas we're talking about these promos. Which one of the three is your favourite? Sylveon, Espeon, or Umbreon? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, then we got our code card, of course. Yay! And our four booster packs. Same situation. How's it going to get on and compete? Let's find out. Vivid first. Um, right. Can we get another hit from Vivid? Amazing Rare. That would be a nice one to see. Let's see if Rayquaza or Amazing Rare. It's probably my favourite one, actually, I think, of the lot. So, let's see how we get on. All right. 
I don't know. We're going to do as well as we did that first team. It was really freaking good. Right, Pachina, Cramorant, and two cannon. Nothing out of the first pack. Fusion Strike time. Now, we would, wouldn't mind. There's a couple of cards. The Celebi is really nice. The Gengar VMAX alternate art. That's a beautiful card. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Or a couple of the Muse. That'd be cool as well. Right, Spongy Gloves, Corpse Squire, Onyx, Chirtle, Shroomish, Kalifki. Trubbish, our reverse is a Luxray, and uh, oh, no hits so far. So, actually, it's already been a worse because we got hit out of three tins, yeah, three booster packs in the last one. Right, two packs left. Maybe all the hits for, that were meant to be in this were in the uh, in that tin before or something. I think maybe that's what happened. I'm not sure. So, um, but we'll see. We still got two brilliant stars. I, I still feel like we could see something big. I really do. Right. Probus, Aksu, Nosepass, Snow Run, Clunk, Dendini, Buzzil, no trainer gallery, but Infernape. So one hollow out of this tin so far. We've got one more pack from it. How's it gonna go? On? Right, last pack magic from the Espion, and then we've got the Umbreon to finish up, and we'll be hoping for some big things from the Umbreon uh, tin to finish. I actually have a feeling a lot of you are probably saying that's your favorite one. Um, Umbreon is a big, it's Baza. It's uh, Umbreon is extremely popular, I know. So right, Gibble, Trapinch, Execute, what the hell, Execute? Why does I say like that? Right, is this the Trainer Gallery? Oh, Galarian Friends Reverse. Now question is, can we finish? Ooh, that tin was pretty brutal, only one hit. Right, last tin is the Umbreon. Can it get us another big hit? Well, let's open up. Okay, there we go, the Umbreon promo card in there. And yeah, I've got to say, let me put all three together. So there you go. There's all three. Which one of those is your favourite? I, I think it's the, it's the Espion for me. It definitely is. Right, so there's that code card once again. And our four booster... Oh, they're all upside down. There's our four booster packs. Right, Vivid first. Rainbow Pikachu. I still need that one. That could be a big shout of a pull. It popped into my head. Is it a sign that it's right there? Just, just laying in wait for us to pull. I guess we're going to find out. Right, Charmeleon. Oh, yeah, Reverse Charizard's in this as well. That'd be a nice one. Charmander, hang on, hang on. So wait, we got a fuck Charmeleon Charmander. It's gonna happen, isn't it? <gasps> mm, no, Skittle, right, and nothing. Right, Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike's the one that hasn't given us any sort of hit really so far, isn't it? Out of all of these tens. And to be honest, Fusion Strike is notoriously bad for its pull ratios. It's it's just a monster of a set, so the pull ratios are normally pretty bad. Um, to be honest, it's, it's probably why I haven't opened, it's probably why a lot of people don't open as much of it as they used to, you know, like, it seems to, especially with brilliant stars in its pull rates, right, here we go, Grimmsnarl, and I say it, and there's a hollow, question is, is that it, is that it from this tin, two brilliant stars packs now, okay, Arceus, bless us, bless us with the hits, give us a big alternate art, give us the rainbow Charizard, give us something good, come on, right, it honestly, it's such a good set, Brilliant Stars. It really is. Right, Magma, Spiriting, Burmy, Impidimp, Star You, Trainer Gallery. Nah, just a reverse Baza. Right, and Dust Noir. Right, two hits from this tins, but two hollows. No big, big card. <sighs> okay, let's see, let's see. It's definitely Sylveon winning at the minute. Right, last pack magic. We definitely need something big out of this to make this a really sort of, well, to make it compete with the tin. Actually, pull rates and stuff overall out of three tins, I think are really, oh, look at that. The condition on that. The pull rates out of these tins has actually been really solid. Very happy, actually. And the fact that we got full art, we got a trainer gallery card, we, we've definitely done well. Let's see if we can finish off with a flourish. Come on, Magma, Staryu, Burmy, Sork, Magma, no more trainer gallery card, but come on. Ah, oh, no, no, no big finish on that. Just the Leopard non hollow. So, here we are, a little recap on the hits. We've got Dust Noir, Grim Snarl, Infernape, Garchomp, and Polion. So, that's five hollows. Then we've got the Trainer Gallery, Zekron, beautiful card, and a full art Galarian so far fetch, which again is a very cool card. So, there we go. I think that went pretty well. But what about you? What do you think about it? And what do you think about these brand new tins? Which one is your favorite artwork? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And once you've done that, Make sure to hit a subscribe here on the channel and ring the alert bell so you don't miss all the content we've got coming up. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.